Good afternoon everyone, my name is Thomas Lavka Ludwig and I am a Senior Technical Specialist here at Autodesk Australia uh, and just wanted to show a small video on something I saw on the forums about someone asking um, in regards to changing a spec after a pipe has been modelled so uh, I'm going to run a, a 10 inch line at Carbon Steel 150, this is just the out of the box specs uh, so I'm not going to do anything really too special uh, and I'm just going to run a branch in here uh, and then maybe stick a flange valve okay so let's say that this has been run and then someone turns around and taps you on the shoulder and says that uh, we need to change it to another spec so you can select one of the objects right click add to selection all connected parts or the line number or the entire line number so I'm just going to pick everything change it from carbon steel to stainless then the software will go through and change everything okay now again remember these are the other box specs so there's probably not going to be too much difference uh, if I go to my pipe now then I can turn around and see that it is all stainless uh, so hopefully that has answered a few questions you might have you can see here uh, nothing has been disconnected uh, where something in the spec might not be correct according to the previous spec you will obviously get some disconnects uh, but again that's just something you'll have to work through if you're changing something in particular like a, a material or a spec that is completely different from what it was uh, originally modelled in